Hey everyone, so I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly an overview of insert learning and how it kind of works and all of the little tools involved with it. First of all, I want to show you how to get insert learning. And so once you open up your Google Chrome browser, if you go to your colorful little apps waffle here or just go to the Chrome web store, you can go ahead and just search for insert learning. And here's the insert learning extension right here. It's the first one that shows up. And all you have to do is just click, click on add to Chrome, add the extension. And then you'll see the little IL icon that will show up on your um, extension bar here next to your search bar once you have Google Chrome opened. So insert learning, right, um, is an extension that allows you to create any kind of interactive lesson with any sort of website or web page or web article that you find, you can turn that into an interactive lesson. Um, and something else that you can do is that if you have like a Google Doc or you have a PDF that you've turned into a Google Doc, if we publish this to the web, this document now becomes published to the web and it also becomes something that we can actually use insert learning with. And that's actually the way that I'm going to show you right now. So I have this Google Doc that I went ahead and published to the web and that's one of your options if you go to file. You just click to publish to the web and it'll do it for you and it'll give you a link which will now be the web published version. Right. And so now here's my article that's been published to the web. And all I need to do now to make this an interactive lesson is that I just need to click on my little insert learning icon. And then it's going to ask me to sign in and you just sign in with your Google account. And now that I've signed in with your Google account, here is our little toolbar that gives us all of our options of what we can do. So I'm just going to go through each of these. The little pencil here is your highlight text. So if you click on that, then you are able to highlight any kind of text that you want. So if you want to have students that are reading and you want to make sure that they are focusing on something, then you can highlight the text. You are able to change the color of the text as well. And also the little plus sign gives you an um, ability to annotate. So not only can you highlight, but um, you can also annotate something with the text if you wanted to go ahead and add something else so that when the students then are reading, they can click on it and they'll see the annotation. The second option is the fact that you can insert sticky notes. Right? And so I can click on anywhere that I want to insert a sticky note. And here is where I can insert either some kind of directions or I can paste things in like images or YouTube links for videos. I can also put in any other kind of um, images or codes that I want to put in. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and let me see if I wanted to go ahead and put like a map that they can see where things were, I can go ahead and insert I wanted to take this map, let's say. And go ahead and insert it here. So now the students are able to see the map of the different empires. Um, we're talking about here, Mali and Mansa Musa. What if I wanted to go ahead and insert a video here? I can go ahead and then get a video. Right, copy that. And insert my video. I could even make it an Ed Puzzle video so they'd have to answer questions. So my video is now inserted here. Um, something else that I can do is that I can insert questions, right? So anywhere along the passage, if I wanted to check for understanding, then along the line, I can go ahead and insert for questions. Um, so even if I go ahead and click the question, question will come down here uh, and we can be like, why, um, so this now becomes a question. I could either have it a short answer question or I can also make it multiple choice.
and so on and so forth. And so I can have multiple choice responses or I can have short answer responses, open-ended responses if I wanted to. I also have discussion questions, right? So then here's more of a kind of opinion questions that I can go ahead and add in. So I can click on discussion and here I can create a discussion question. And that goes ahead and creates my discussion question. And so now students can go ahead and discuss and post their answers. And so now all of a sudden, this text has now become an interactive lesson where students then are engaged with the text themselves and they are able to go ahead and actually work with the text instead of just um, reading it. Once you're done with this, then you're actually able to assign this lesson to your students. And the great thing about Insert Learning is that Insert Learning is integrated to Google Classroom. So when you assign to students, if you have a Google Classroom, then you're actually able to go ahead and post the assignment into Google Classroom. And students would go ahead and log in to Insert Learning with their Google IDs. Um, if they didn't have a Google Classroom, then the assignment would then be able to be shared with a link and students would be able to go to insertlearning.com and sign in with an account that needs to be created and they would be able to do this. Uh, but this is basically what Insert Learning can do. Uh, as a free account, you're able to get five free lessons to test it out. So I encourage you to kind of look at it and see what's out there. Um, especially it's really great to find articles on the internet and be able to have students start to kind of evaluate sources and one way of doing that with still accountability um, and still having them be able to interact with the text would be with something like this, like insert learning. So if you're interested in learning more about it, then let me know and I'll be glad to help you.